of the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific. Ladies and gentlemen, your hosts for this evening, Mr. Anthony Pangilinan and Ms. Christine Jacobs. Best in National Costume and other special awards are up next when the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night continues. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 
and welcome to the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night. We are coming to you live from the exotic garden city of the Philippines, that's Davao. Magayo na pag-abot sa inyong tanan. Welcome everybody and be prepared for a most enchanted evening. Featuring 25 beauties from across the Asia Pacific and all the drama and excitement of an entire year's search is coming to an end. But before the night is over, we will have crowned the new pride and beauty of the Asia Pacific. We can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the 25 candidates to the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Australia, Beauty Pageant. What I'm wearing is an Akubra worn by the typical Aussie, or as you all know, Crocodile Dundee. Canada is a very vast, multicultural and free country with many different climates ranging from the prairies, the oceans to the mountains. Buenas noches. Vengo desde el último lugar del mundo. Luego de la cordillera. Vengo desde Chile. I come from Costa Rica, the land of peace and democracy. We don't have an army and we prefer to solve our problems using peaceful ways. Hola. Vengo de Ecuador. Mi país está en la mitad del mundo, latitud 00. Es un país pequeño pero grande de corazón. Grande como el corazón de los filipinos. Hola Filipinas, les saludo desde el pulgarcito de América, el país de la eterna sonrisa, El Salvador. Mabuhay, I represent the land of eternal spring, known for its rainforest and ancient pyramids, Guatemala. Buenas noches, represento el país de la gran cultura maya, Honduras, y traigo de su gente un abrazo fraternal para Filipinas. Mabuhay. I come to this Mangandang country from the land of spirituality, India. Friends, hope is powerful. When you wish upon a star, it really doesn't matter who you are. Kambala, I come from the beautiful land of the rising sun. It's also the home of Mount Fuji, Japan. 안녕하세요. 사계절이 어린던 코리아에서 온 여의전입니다. 코리아는 1988년 서울 올림픽을 개최했으며 다가오는 2002년은 아시아 월드컵을 개최할 기적인 나라입니다. 감사합니다. A beautiful blend of two cultures, Portuguese and Chinese. I'm very proud to represent my city in Macau. Macau é onde se pode encontrar igrejas europeias e templos chineses. I'm the representative of Malaysia, a multiracial and cultural country with beautiful beaches and the best food in Asia. A very warm climate that can enter my country. Buenas noches, Filipinas. Mi país es México, lugar de hombres valientes y mujeres hermosas. Cuenta con muchos lugares ecológicos, una gran cultura y grandes misterios. Namaste. I'm from the exotic country in the majestic Himalayas with the highest peak in the world, Mount Everest, and the birthplace of Lord Buddha, the light of Asia. My country is renowned for its clean green image, from its lush native forests to its secluded beaches and its alpine slopes. New Zealand is a very unique country. Hello Philippines, I'm representing the beautiful center of the world, heart of the universe, Panama. Hola Filipinas, I come from the land of beauty and mystery. It is the land of the Incas, Peru. Si los quiero invitar a todos ustedes a que disfruten mi bello país. Mula sa bulahan, nalawigan ng mga dakilang bayani at magandang bilag. Ako po ang inyong abang lingkod, kumakatawaan sa Republika ng Pilipinas. Я представляю одной из самых больших стран мира, Россию, Республика Саха, Якутия. Good day, Philippines. I come from a multicultural society, and because of that, we get to experience the rich cultural festivals celebrated all year round. And it's none other than my beautiful and clean country, Singapore. I come from a tropical island where it gets carried away by raging beaches. Surrounded by the turquoise sea, this is a paradise and I'm very proud to represent my beautiful island of Tahiti. So what do you have? I come from the land of smiles and warm welcomes, a kingdom steeped in ancient history. And tonight I'm proud to be representing this beautiful and enchanting land, the amazing kingdom of Thailand. My country is a bridge between Asian and European cultures. It has a mystic atmosphere and was the site of Temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the world. I represent the United States of America, known for its large diversity of cultures, great variety of food, and of course, home of Disneyland.
calls and hail the beautiful. Another round of applause, please, for 25 candidates. Congratulations. I am now about to present our first set of winners of our special award. Before anything else, I'd like to call in the representative of SGC, our official tabulator this evening, Mr. Lito Montes. May I have the envelopes, please? Thank you very much, Mr. Montes. We begin with Miss Friendship. Our candidates have voted among themselves, that's right, and came up with this year's Miss Friendship. Helping us out tonight is the first runner-up of the 1996 Miss Asia Pacific pageant, Miss Marilyn Maristela. And together with her, presenting the award for Miss Friendship is Miss Georgie Felix Velarde of the Manila International Airport Authority. Ladies and gentlemen, our official emissary of smiles across the Asia Pacific region happens to be Miss Miss Philippines, Cheryl Moraga, a great host. Congratulations, Cheryl. Our next award is for Miss Talent. Our winner was determined during the candidate's presentation held at the Euphoria last November 29. To send you the award for Miss Talent is Mike De La Fuente, branch sales manager of Avon Davao. More to admire than just a pretty face. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Miss Talent is Ooh, la, la, Miss Philippines, Cheryl Moraga. Congratulations once again. On stage right now, you can see that each candidate's impressive ensemble reflects her country's essence and the spirit of her people. The winner was chosen by a panel composed of the best designers in Davao. I'm referring to the best in national costume. Presenting the award and awarding the cash prize of $1,000 is Mr. Chester Navales, Senior Vice President, Mindanao Division Head of Collar Tezusan Assurance Plan Philippines, Incorporated. Best in national costume, Miss El Salvador, Luciana Sandoval. <laughs> Ooh, la la. <laughs> Congratulations to our first set of winners. Ladies, we'll see you all again later. For now, I turn you over back to Christine. Thank you very much, Anthony. And of course, so we're still at the earliest stages of the competition, and already we have our first set of winners. Miss Philippines wins. Miss Friendship and Miss Talent, of course, Miss El Salvador, Best in National Costume. Is this a sign of things to come this evening? Well, let's find out when we return with the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night continues. Brought to you via the microwave facilities of Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company and by Avon Fashion, Gentle Fashion, that's Avon Fashion. And I'd like to thank this opportunity to thank the most gracious people of Davao for their terrific hospitality. Thank you very much, Davao. And I am sure our candidates, as well as I and as well as Anthony, will long treasure our memories from this heavenly city. Indeed, Davao. Thank you for having us.
we are honored to have a representative from the office from which all this graciousness brings forth. Please welcome the Honorable Vice Mayor Benjamin de Guzman of Davao and the City Council of Davao. The City Council is here as well. We'd like to acknowledge the presence of the co-chairperson of the House Committee that helped carry our productions in the successful staging of this pageant, Councillor Francis Robilio. Maraming salamat po. And may I now introduce the members of the board of Miss Asia Pacific Quest Incorporated, Alfonso S. Lim, Chairman, and Leandro D. Enriquez, President. Likewise, please welcome the moving spirits behind the 1997 Asia Pacific pageant, whose professionalism and managerial expertise have, in the last six years, always ensured a successful pageant each time. Friends. The executives of Carousel Productions Incorporated, starting with Pichi Veneración, Project Director. <laughs> Susan Mora, Sales Director. <laughs> Lorraine Shook, Vice President. <laughs> and Ramon Monson, President. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen of Carousel and MAPQI, or MACQI for a job well done as always and of course ladies and gentlemen you know that these people have been working on holy hours for the past two months and tonight all that endless patience sacrifice and elbow grease are paying off and that certainly goes for all 25 contestants as well and just to give you a glimpse of the kind of schedule these ladies have been keeping since day one of the competition let's tag along with our racial pacific cameras and see Enjoy the ride. After a successful launch at Euphoria on November 13, the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific pageant unfolded as the 25 lovely candidates made their touchdown in Manila, full of pride and honor in representing their countries. Excitement filled the air as they checked in at the opulent Sulu Hotel, the second home of the candidates in Manila for the hectic weeks ahead. Not a day was wasted as the ladies trooped to Bikutan in celebration of the Drug Abuse and Prevention Week where they inspired a number of people undergoing rehabilitation. Together with the reigning Miss Asia Pacific, Gabriela Aguilar, the candidates soon brought smiles to the wards of Nayon ng Kabataan, this year's deserving beneficiary. They happily spent time with the orphans and gave away Unilever PRC products. A touching moment indeed. Then it was time to pay a visit to the pageant's proud presenter, Unilever PRC, makers of cream silk, close-up, and ponds. A warm welcome was given by Unilever's marketing director, Alec Lieber, together with Jan Evangelista, brand manager for ponds. The afternoon coincided with the launching of Ponds Facial Wash, the latest addition to Unilever's extensive line of products. Also present was Noni Busuego, brand manager for close-up. Nestle Philippines, also one of this year's proud sponsors and makers of Carnation non-fat milk, was next on the line. The candidates were met by Gabi Consulta, marketing director, and Levi Castillo, senior vice president, milks department. They had a very entertaining afternoon. Another day was set aside for a visit to Air Philippines, the pageant's official carrier to Davao. Joining the welcoming committee were General Lisandro Abadia and Sherwin Gachalian. With their schedules soon filling up, the candidates finally met with the members of the press during a colorful presentation held at the Sulu Hotel. The girls paraded in their national costumes, followed by a photo session at the hotel's poolside. After a tiring afternoon of smiling and posing in front of the lensmen, the ladies soon donned their elegant dresses for a welcome party thrown by the Miss Asia Pacific Quest, Inc., making all the candidates feel very much at home. With the party soon over, it was work again for the beauties. This time, a courtesy visit to Mead Johnson, makers of Mama Care, where a warm welcome awaited them. They were joined by Charles Urbane, president of Mead Johnson, Dexter Estrada, senior product manager, and Russell Bloom, president of Bristol Myers. The ladies ramped off in their best forms and figures during the swimsuit competition held at Euphoria. 
a select panel of judges were commissioned to choose this year's best in swimsuit. That same evening, the girls raced a considerable amount for the less fortunate through the annual auction night. This year's pageant will not be complete without the top-of-the-line beauty enhancers from Avon Color and Avon Fashions. Ria de la Vina, branch sales manager of Avon Shaw, opened the doors for the candidates, and they were greeted by the Avon Buddies. It was a fun-filled day of games and shopping at the Avon Showroom. Poise, grace, and elegance abounded in a glamorous evening at Euphoria when the ladies competed for this year's best in long gown. They all looked queenly in formal evening gowns of their own choice. In between their hectic schedule, the ladies prepared for the big night with rehearsals, rehearsals, and even more rehearsals at the Body Place Dance Studio, Center for Beauty and Health. Tiring as it was, they still found time to have some fun perfecting every step and every move. An evening of festivity soon followed with Euphoria hosting this year's talent competition. 19 candidates bared their hidden talents to everyone's delight, proving that there's more than just beauty in Asia-Pacific women. Then it was time to make that one step closer to the Miss Asia-Pacific crown. All the candidates did their very best in making that first but lasting impression to the board of judges during the pre-judging held at the majestic Sulu Hotel Ballroom. Finally, it's time to head for Davao, a city in bloom, where the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific beauty pageant culminates. On board Air Philippines, the candidates landed in the majestic city that Sunday morning and were cheerfully welcomed by the hospitable Davaoenos. The girls checked in at the Apple View Hotel, where they will be billeted for the final leg of the competition. A press conference followed shortly, where all eyes and camera lenses were focused on the 25 hopefuls. Then the girls took to the streets of Davao City on a colorful float, and gave the people of Davao a chance to take a glimpse at these lovely ladies together with the reigning queen. Charity Day will always be a part of the girls' itinerary. They spent one morning with the children of Balai Dangupan, the pageant's beneficiary in Davao. Their stay in Davao will not be complete without experiencing the warm hospitality of its people. And everyone was overwhelmed by a welcome party thrown for the candidates at the Insular Hotel. All 25 ladies who have traveled from across the globe are once more gathered not only for the crowning of the next Asia-Pacific Queen, but also in fostering unity and friendship in the Asia-Pacific region. Morning with the children. Every minute of it. And of course, now we realize that not only does it take figure and a face to become a beauty contestant, but it also requires a lot of energy as well energy is what we're going to get. A lot of it. More to come. Plus, an exciting surprise from Costa Rica. When the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night returns. <laughs> this is one ceaselessly vibrant town and our ladies are back on stage to rub off some of that intensity on you. Wearing their outfits from Plaza Fair and ready to spice up our lives are our 25 candidates plus one hot senorita from Costa Rica. Ladies and gentlemen, together with her dancing partner from Argentina, Federico Eguchi, last year's Miss Asia Pacific, Gabriela Aguilar. <laughs> Pienso solamente en ti, en la magia del amor, en tu piel, en tu sabor. Risa celestial, tus besos, tu calor.
The winner of Miss Photogenic and other special awards are next when the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night continues. Thank you very much. Helping us once again for all the next awards is Miss Marilene Maristella. This is the award for Miss Photogenic. Our winner was chosen by official photographers during the candidate's press presentation. Presenting the award for Miss Photogenic plus $1,000 is the renowned dermatologist and director of the Bello Group, Dr. Victoria Bello. The camera never lies. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Photogenic is the Philippine Cheryl Moraga. Start taking your pictures, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we have the award for best in swimsuit. This gives you an idea. Back here. Our winner was chosen during a special pre-judging presentation held at the Euphoria on November 24. Presenting the award for best in swimsuit is Jason of Ansenia, brand manager of Carnation Non-Fat Milk. It figures this year's winner of best in swimsuit is none other than Miss Australia, Carrie Anita Lucas. Australia, Carrie Lucas, who is a junior final athlete back in her hometown. Congratulations, Carrie. Now, the pre-judging session for the delegates in their evening gowns last November 26th became one of the pageant's highlights, with all 25 candidates dressed to the nines and scoring perfect tens from the judges. One did, however, manage to shine above all the rest and was judged best in long gown. And presenting the award for best in long gown is Manette Acero, Marketing Services Manager of Lee Johnson, Philippines. Best in long Miss Ferrar. Now 
Now, ladies, you are blessed because we have three more special awards coming your way. Starting with Wood or Miss Pond's Beautiful Skin. Miss Pond's Beautiful Skin, you have a year's supply of Pond's facial wash plus $500. Presenting the award is Jan Evangelista, brand manager for Pond's facial wash. Miss Pond's beautiful skin, Miss Korea, Jason Yo. Congratulations. Friends, we now have Miss Close Up Smile. The announcement of our 10 semi-finalists. So, ladies and gentlemen, have you chosen who among the 25 candidates who will make it to the top 10? Well, let's find out when we turn to the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night, brought to you live via Bromsat by Nestle's Carnation Non-Fat Milk, Drink Carnation Non-Fat, Bones, Muscles, Body Beautiful. to live in the highlands. In most instances, the Muslims and the cultural communities are distinguished by their colorful clothing, headdresses, and elaborate ornaments as we are about to witness in this next presentation by our candidates, wearing outfits by five of the best designers in Davao. Friends, please welcome back our lovely delegates. are wearing outfits by boys you know who turn to the patterns of the Tivoli for in Miss Guatemala, Miss Honduras, Miss India, and Miss Japan. Don outfits by Bamba Limon, who chose to emulate the designs of the Maguindanawan and Tauso tribes.
Miss Macau, Miss Malaysia, Miss Mexico, and Miss Nepal are wearing outfits by Gondon Masheren that hail the powerful colors of the Bagobo. Congratulations to all five Dabao designers for the most interesting fashion to blow. A round of applause, please, once again. Yan ang taga Davao. Now, ladies, the moment has come to reveal the names of our ten semi-finalists, those who will continue in tonight's competition. Bear in mind that I will be reading this in random order. Good luck to everyone. SUV, Mr. Montes, please for the envelope. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, why don't we acknowledge all our candidates this evening, not just for this evening, but for the past few weeks of the competition. You've all been wonderful. Congratulations to you all. Okay, our first semi-finalist, ladies and gentlemen, is Miss Canada, Andrian Zawan Delhoff. <laughs> Our second semi-finalist, a possible winner tonight, please welcome Miss Thailand. Well on out to one on out. Our third semi-finalist, also a potential queen this evening, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Tahiti, Nancy, Pima, and Yure. <laughs> Our fourth semi-finalist, keep your hopes up, Miss India, Divya Chauhan. To complete the first five, please welcome upstage Miss Costa Rica, Diana Cox. <laughs> Our sixth semi finalist, yes, it is you, Miss Philippine, Cheryl Moraga. Six down, four to go. Join them, please, Miss Australia, Terry Anita Lucas. <laughs> Our seventh, any guests from the audience? Miss New Zealand, Rachel John Davy Martin. <laughs> that would have been the eighth, the eighth. Now we have the ninth, ladies and gentlemen. The ninth semi-finalist, Miss Chile, Gabriela Kihikaren. And completing our list of ten, 
It is your fate tonight to join the Miss USA, Julian Nicole Guzman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 10 semi-finalists for the title of Miss Asia Pacific 1997. To the rest of our candidates, once again, thank you very much. We're all immensely proud of you. Christine? Yes, Anthony, once again, our 10 semi-finalists, Miss Canada, Miss Thailand, Miss Tahiti, Miss India, Miss Costa Rica, Miss Philippines, Miss Australia, Miss New Zealand, Miss Chile, and Miss USA. And we will certainly have more of those great smiles and rousing cheers when we come back to the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night via the microwave facilities of PLDT, and with our thanks to Mama Care by Me Johnson, the complete nutrition for pregnant and breastfeeding mothers. Don't go away, we'll be back. The coronation night of the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific live from Davao. It's time now to introduce our distinguished panel of judges to the audience. If you would, please hold your applause until the final judge is introduced. Starting off with the Assistant General Manager of Avon Cosmetics, Herman Martinez. Until the final judge is introduced. The CEO of Del Monte Davao, Federico Odio. Great audience. <laughs> You've met her earlier, renowned dermatologist, Dr. Victoria Bello. Okay, okay. Give your applause. That's okay. The, Aust uh, the Austrian ambassador to the Philippines, the Honorable Wolfgang Zilli. Presently, the chairman of the board of Air Philippines Incorporated and the former chief of staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Lisandro Campo Abadia. <laughs> Corporate chairman of Media Art Systems and Services Company Incorporated, Norberto Timbol. A member of the Board of Directors of RPN Channel 9, Attorney Mario Santos. The Governor of the Province of Bulacan, up north. And the President of the League of Governors, the Honorable Governor Roberto Pagtanganan. And the Chairman of our Panel of Judges, Southern Mindanao Tourism Council Chairman and 1973 Miss Universe, Margarita Moran of Loirendo. Another round of applause, please, for all our judges. Maraming salamat. Back to you, Christine. Thank you very much, Anthony. Of course, the fate of each and every one of our 25 candidates are in the hands of our judges. And our candidates will be judged based on the following criteria. We have beauty of face is 40%, beauty of figure 35%, poise, personality, and intelligence 25%. So of course, for all of our friends back home, have you chosen your own set of candidates, women tonight, who are deserving of the crown? We'll find out later to see how your candidates compare with that of our judges. Meanwhile, the candidates are busy backstage preparing for their next round of challenges. This is the perfect moment to take you on a little sightseeing trip and see how our girls forgot the serious side of the competition and indulged in some fun. <laughs>
at their most unguarded moments, these ladies are still picture perfect. And speaking of picture perfect, we are privileged to have with us in the audience two very lovely ladies who were once a part of this beauty pageant. We have Miss Canada, 1991, Raylene Walker. <laughs> Miss Mexico, 94, Marlene De La Garza. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up, we will have the chance to get to know our semi-finalists in their casual interview with Anthony. All this with our thanks to Domestic Satellite Philippines Incorporated, or DOMSAT, and Sulu Hotel, your business hotel in Quezon City, and the official residence of our candidates. We're bringing you more oohs and ahs in Davao at the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night. So stay a few moments ago, Anthony announced the names of our 10 candidates who made it to the semi-final round. And now they are all, or at least first half of them, they're up with Anthony now as they prepare for the casual interview. These ladies will be judged based on the poise, personality, and the content to which they answer the questions. So once again, here's Anthony. Thank you, Christine. I now have the uh, pleasure to talk to each one of our 10 semi-finalists. No doubt all of them are worthy of the crown for their beauty. But don't you wonder what lies behind these women in their hearts and in their minds? Besides questions we base on their bio data, we will be asking them what their thoughts are on women and an issue concerning women. So we are asking them two questions, one about themselves and one about an issue concerning women to be fun and revealing. Starting with Miss Canada, Andrea Joan Verho. Drea is a professional model in Vancouver, British Columbia. Among her interests are snowboarding and rollerblading. My question to you, Drea, is what is the very first thing you will do when you get back to Vancouver? The very first thing I think is go out, take a walk, enjoy the fresh air, and my big, tall, green suit. Okay, it's going to be a relaxing first thing for Miss Canada. Now, what I'd like to ask you is, what comes to mind when you think of women and choice? Women and choice. I believe that women have a choice in what they want to do. Um, it's their body. They can do what they want. And... They are free to make that choice. Thank you very much, Drea. The power of choice for Miss Canada, Miss Thailand, Wararat Suwanarat. Good evening. Emma is a consistent A student who excels in history, politics, and religious studies, not to mention her awards in athletics. Emma, you are a well-traveled and have actually stayed in Ireland Germany, England, and Russia. If given a choice, where would you live? Uh, to me, it's been a wonderful experience to have lived in so many countries and to have done school in so many countries. But uh, for me, I think I love Thailand very much. It's the country of my birth. It's where I grew up as a child, and it's where my heart really is. So Thailand is out of doubt. Thank you very much. I can see that without a doubt. <laughs> what do you think? about women and intelligence. Intelligence and women. I think women and intelligence go very well together. I think they blend perfectly together. For me, we live in an equal world nowadays. Like being a woman is strong, you're feminine too, and intelligence just blends perfectly. Mm -hmm. She exemplifies it. Thank you very much, Miss Thailand. <laughs> women and intelligence blending together. Next, we have Miss Tahiti. Nancy Poima Anyere. <laughs> Ms. Tahiti will require an interpreter. Nancy used to work as a dealer and supervisor in a casino before venturing into the pearl business. Okay, we heard that you once walked on fire. Why did you do it? And you do, do you do these things often? On a entendu parler que tu as déjà fait la marche sur feu. Donc pourquoi tu l'as fait Est-ce que tu le fais assez souvent Je n'ai jamais encore fait la marche sur le feu. J'ai toujours voulu 
Mais euh, c'est une tradition à Tahiti. Mais il y a quelques règles à suivre. I have never done it. I have always wanted to do it. It's a tradition in Tahiti, but there are some rules that are followed. Comme euh, les femmes en scène ne peuvent pas marcher sur le feu parce que ça peut créer quelques problèmes. The, wom the women who are pregnant are not allowed to go and do the walking fire. Mais euh, cette marche consiste à faire sortir les mauvais esprits d'une personne. Cette marche consiste à faire sortir les mauvais esprits d'une personne. And it's uh, uh, unfortunate that sometimes it does show the uh, not the very good side, co side qualities of a person. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Uh, Tahiti. Now I'd like to know what you think about women and love. Women and love. La femme a besoin de l'homme comme l'homme a besoin de la femme. Et je pense que lorsqu'on tombe amoureux de quelqu'un, c'est formidable. The uh, woman has a need for a man as much as a man needs a woman. And when a woman does fall in love, it's uh, wonderful. Thank you very much, Miss Tahiti. Merci beaucoup. My wife will agree. <laughs> Next we have Miss India. She's from New Delhi. Divya works as a production manager in a garment export firm. India celebrates its 50th year as an independent, independent nation this year. In a few words, what do you think is your country's greatest achievement? The greatest achievement of my country has been that we have sustained our democracy for 50 years without any problems. And right now, though my country is going through a turmoil, but we are sure to come out with a consensus and always be a winner. Thank you very much, Ms. India. That is our hope, too, for the Philippines. <laughs> Women and power. What comes to mind? Women and power, Ms. India. Well, uh, women from the ancient times have been an epitome of love, beauty, and power. And um, I believe that a woman has, uh, has the power to give out so much of love and affection which only a woman can talk about. That is the greatest emotion which she gives out to her child, the emotion, the power of selfless love, which only a woman can express without expecting anything in return. Thank you very much. That's a new view on power, Miss India. Thank you very much. Power with grace, I must add. Next, we have Miss Costa Rica, Ivana Cox. Interpreter, please. Ivana, by the way, spends her day at a clinic for troubled teenagers. That's interesting. Working on her thesis towards a degree in psychology. Ms. Costa Rica, what do you think is the biggest problem faced by Costa Rican youth today? What do you think is the problem most important that the youth of Costa Rica today? I think the problem most important is the falta of having an ideal in their lives. Algo que los guíe. Eso les permite estar fuera de drogas, fuera de problemas que les afecten todas sus áreas de su vida. En general, si alguien tiene un objetivo y lucha por él, puede alejarse de cualquier cosa como drogas o problemas. Gracias. I think the biggest problem that Costa Rican youth face is that they do not have an ideal in their lives. If a person has something to strive for, then they can distance themselves from problems like drugs and uh, juvenile delinquency. Thank you very much, Miss Costa Rica. A good grasp of what has to be done in her country. The next is Women and the Future. Women and the Future. ¿Qué piensas de la mujer y el futuro? Creo que el futuro es de la mujer. En tanto la mujer tenga más acceso a otras zonas como el poder y la política, Las cuestiones van a cambiar para ser un poco más democráticas y más humanitarias. I think the women has, will have access to everything. The future belongs to the women. They will have access to politics and power, and they will have access to charity. And the future belongs to the women. Thank you very much, Miss Costa Rica. A warning to all men. The future belongs to the women. <laughs> 
These girls definitely have it all, beauty brains and lots of style and style courtesy of Karuna Collections, exclusively designed by Rene Salou, whose outfits our semi-finalists are now wearing. Thank you, ladies. We'll hear more from the rest of the semi-finalists when we return to the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night. So stick around. Starting off with Miss Philippines. Cheryl Moraga is an accounting student. She has been a proud Philippine ambassador of goodwill, of course, during this pageant. Cheryl, what do your fellow candidates find most impressive or amazing about Davao and your country? I think they found not other than except the Hospitality and warm welcome of every Filipino people. Now, material things, just the hospitality and the Filipino people itself. Thank you very much, Miss Philippine. <laughs> Hospitable yourself, otherwise you wouldn't miss, uh, wouldn't win Miss Friendship. Okay, what do you think, or what comes to your mind when you think of women and abortion? I think um, abortion should not be welcome all over the world. Because if you really a good woman, you must accept all the consequences of a real woman by guiding them by guiding them on the path that they should go. And there's only one person that could be get the life of every Philippine people or every people that's only our creator. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. That was very clear as a conviction of uh, Cheryl. Only the God, your creator, can make such a choice. Miss Australia, Carrie Anita Lucas. Belle is a personal trainer, mind you. Sports therapist, nutrition specialist, who also finds time for rock climbing, running, modeling. And she is, by the way, a national weightlifting champion. <laughs> well, that was strong. Now, where do you get all the time and the energy to do all these, Miss Australia? Energy is a form of the mind. Um, if you want to go out there and achieve something, you can do it. Just set your mind to it and believe it. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Australia. What the mind can conceive, the body can achieve. Now, what do you think about women and health? Women and health is just as important as um, men and health. Um, these days, a lot of people are becoming more aware of what they're eating and what they're doing with their bodies. And I'm there to actually make people realize that there is a lot of things we're doing wrong out there. And there's a lot of things we can change to feel good for ourselves and for our soul. Thank you very much, Miss Australia. I'd like to know her secret. No? There's a lot of things we're actually doing wrong. Miss New Zealand, Rachel John Davy Martin, or Martin, very sports minded as well. Rachel is into hockey, horseback riding, basketball, touch rugby. She's also an aspiring actress. Okay, tell us about your experience on the set of the TV series Xena, the Warrior Princess. Ooh. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Um, it's just, it's great. You meet so many people. I really enjoyed it. And it's just, it's make-believe. It's just so much fun. You just run around being crazy and it's, you can be anything you want to be. And that's, that's the biggest part of it is you get to be someone that you don't usually get to be. So I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to the Lifetime Opportunity, an aspiring actress. What do you think about women and motherhood? Motherhood. Well, um, I don't really know a lot on the subject, of course, but I think it's one of the biggest steps of your life and you have to be ready for it. Uh, I think it's a lifelong learning experience and one that you definitely have to think about before you go ahead with. Once you bring a child into the world, it's your responsibility forever. It's, it's part of you and part of your partner and you have to make the right decision. You do know much about it. I'm sure all mothers will agree. 
and I'm sure Sina should take your advice. Thank you very much, Miss New Zealand. Miss Chile, Gabriela de Hickerem. We need an interpreter at this time. She's from Santiago, by the way. Gabriela started working as a ramp TV and commercial model at the age of 14. Very interesting. Okay, can you tell us about your unusual experience with a car breakdown and hitchhiking? Por favor, contanos la historia de cuando se te estropeó el coche y cuando tenías que hacer parada. Fuimos con mi novio a, a conocer el norte de Chile, que es todo desierto, y resulta que el auto se quedó en pana, se hundió en la arena, y tuvimos que salir caminando seis horas hasta la carretera. Y cuando llegamos a la carretera, venía un camión muy lento, y yo le dije a mi novio, Hagámosle, hagámosle parar, por favor. Y él me dice, no, esperemos uno más rápido. We'd like to know what she said. <laughs> okay. She was on a trip to the north of Chile, which is a desert area, with her companion. And their car broke down. Said Nobio. Boyfriend. Thank you. Um, and her car broke down because it got stuck in the sand. They had to hike out six hours to the main road. And after a long while, a truck came driving by, and her boyfriend said we should hitchhike with this guy. And, and she said, no, forget it. It's going way too slow. She'd rather walk, right? Oh, he's crazy. Who's crazy? <laughs> it is a crazy, interesting experience, nevertheless. OK, Miss Chile, women and money. ¿Qué piensas cuando te dice la mujer y el dinero? Creo que la mujer con dinero puede hacer muchas cosas buenas hacia los demás, hacia los niños desamparados y hacia sí misma, porque de repente pienso que la mujer con dinero puede de repente tomársela en un buen sentido del cristianismo y lograr muchas metas. I think uh, a woman with money can accomplish a lot of things for others, for orphans and for the less fortunate, but also lately She's realized that she can, money can help you do a lot of things. It can help you achieve your goals. Thank you very much, Ms. Chile. Gracias. And thank you very much to our interpreters. Marami salamat. And finally, we have Ms. USA, Jillian Guzman. Jill is a psychology student who has received scholarships because she excels in diving. Diving. If you were to ask to convince, or if you were asked to convince the audience here to take up diving, how would you do it? What would you say? I would explain to them how the feeling when you leap from the board is just, it's beyond describing. It's like flying like a bird and then just knowing that you ripped your dive and you did exactly what you wanted to do when you entered the water, it's a really good feeling. I just tell them um, to try it because it's very self-assuring because diving is a very um, self-disciplined sport. How far you go is, depends completely on you. Thank you very much, Ms. USA. Okay. It's like joining a pageant, right? You just got to do it. Do it all the way. Women and aging. Getting old. Not for you. But many here would like to listen to what you have to say. I think women and aging, that's a good thing because as you get older, you become a lot more wiser and you learn more. And then as you get older, you have kids and you can teach your children what you've learned and then hopefully eventually grow older with a significant other. Thank you very much, Miss USA. That's a nice way of looking at aging. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for the rest or the last five of our semi-finalists in the cash roll interview. You impressed us all. Christine? Thank you very much, Anthony. And of course, I really enjoyed all the answers of our lovely ladies. And that just goes to show that these ladies have a lot more going for them than just their physical assets. And speaking of assets, the Miss Asia Pacific pageant is made possible by the invaluable support of one of its presenters. All new cream silk for super beautiful hair. Coming up next is the much-awaited swimsuit competition. 
Be with us when the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific returns. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the swimsuit competition starting off with Miss Canada. Andrea John Verhoff, Miss Canada. Andrea is 19 years old, 5 feet and 6 inches in height. Tips the scale at 110 pounds and hugs the tape at 35, 24, 34. Once again, Miss Canada. <laughs> On stage right now is Wolarat to one lot, Miss Thailand. Emma is 20 years old and stands 5 feet and 6 inches. Slim at 125 pounds and measuring 35, 24, 36. Miss Thailand. Let's now take a close look at Miss Tahiti, Nancy Anyere. Nancy is 21 years old and stands 5 feet and 9 inches. She tips the scale at 110 pounds and hugs the tape at 34, 24, 34. That's Miss Tahiti. Going for the crown of Miss Asia Pacific is Miss India. Divya Chauhan. Divya is 23 years old, stands 5 feet and 8 and a half inches, tips the scale at 116 pounds, and hugs the tape at 33, 24, 34. Miss India, Divya Chauhan. <laughs> 23 year old Ivana Cox is Miss Costa Rica. Five feet, eight and a half inches tall and weighing 110 pounds. Ivana measures 32, 24, 33. That's Miss Costa Rica. Next in line is Miss Philippines, Cheryl Moraga, 18 years of age. She is 5 feet and 6 inches tall, weighs 110 pounds, and slim at 34, 25, 35. Once again, Miss Philippines. Anita Lucas is Miss Australia. Belle is 21 years old, stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighs 120 pounds, and measures 38, 24, 35. That's Miss Australia. Miss New Zealand is Miss Rachel John Davy Martin, 19 years old. Rachel is 5 feet and 6 inches tall, weighs 118 pounds, and measures 34, 25, 35. Miss New Zealand. Miss Chile is Gabriela de Hekeren. She stands 5 feet and 7 inches, weighs 118 pounds, and measures 34, 24, 35. That's 22-year-old Gabriela, Miss Chile.
Miss USA, Julian Nicole Guzman. Jill is 19 years of age and stands 5 feet 4 inches tall. She weighs 115 pounds and hugs the tape at 33, 25, 35. That's Julian Nicole Guzman, Miss USA. Thank you, ladies, and that completes two-thirds of our semi-finals. By the way, the swimsuits hugging our candidates, beautiful bodies, are courtesy of Avon Fashion. Up next, we'll be seeing these glorious beauties in the glamorous evening gown competition when the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Coronation Night continues. highlight the world famous orchids of Davao as each semi-finalist is paired off with one of the region's petaled primes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the evening gown competition and we start off with Miss Canada. Rita.
Dayanang Pilipina. Australia. concludes our even gown competition and the semi-finalists or semi-finals rather thank you ladies a round of applause please you're all very beautiful Christine wasn't that simply magical thank you very much Auntie. and of course the magic is brought to your screens via Dom Flat with our thanks to Avon Collar the official makeup for the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific candidates and the Apple View Hotel, the Davao's most popular address and the official residence of the candidates here in Davao City. First, they were 25. Then, they were 10. And now, they're about to be whittled down even further to just five. So be there when it happens.
one of the fastest rising star in music. With an intimate look at our 10 semi-finalists, this is the soothing sound of Gilbert Bollett. <laughs> Mr. Gilbert Collette. Now I have the names, or I will have it very shortly, of the five candidates whom the judges have chosen to continue as finalists. Once more, I'm going to read his names in no particular order. Mr. Montes, please, from Yes TV, for that all-important list. Thank you very much. Our first finalist, ladies and gentlemen, comes from India, Divya Chauhan. Our second finalist, who could be a queen this evening, please welcome upstage Miss Chile Gabriela Pihikaran. Next, we have our third finalist, a potential winner as well, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Australia, Carrie Anita Lucas. Our fourth finalist, three down, two to go. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you Miss Thailand, Waralat Sumawalat.
Before I announce the last finalist, please give a round of applause to all our 10 semi-finalists. You've done a very good job. And to complete the list of five, she could be tonight's winner for the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Crown. Please welcome Miss Tahiti Nancy Poima Anyere. Ladies and gentlemen, the five finalists for the title of Miss Asia Pacific 1997. Back to you, Christine. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, five of the most beautiful and happiest women in the Asia Pacific region. We will be giving our finalists a few moments to catch their breath before we return for the final question and answer portion. Here in the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night, presented by Close Up for strong, shiny white teeth, fresh as fresh breath. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final competition among these five beautiful ladies to determine who shall wear the crown as 1997 Miss Asia Pacific. The finalists begin now in equal footing as they give us their answer to this one question that I now hold in my hand. One finalist will answer at a time while the rest will be staying inside our soundproof booth behind me. We will begin with Miss India. So ladies, would you please step in our booth? Miss India. Divya Chauhan. Divya, this is the question. Same for all the rest of the candidates. Are we ready? We just want to make sure that they can't hear so they're having a disco inside there right now. If you could ask God just one question, what would it be? Think about it. You ready? If there was one question which I would ask God, it would be, when he created children full of bliss, innocence, and replica of God, why did he put them into problems like prostitution, child labor, and uh, child labor, and uh, what do you say, orphans? And um, I would like to ask him that so much of innocence, so much of bliss that he has given the children, why should he put them in such big problems? Thank you. Why this injustice? Why this injustice? I would like to know the answer too. Thank you, Miss India. Next, we have Miss Chile, Gabriela de Hikaren. We will need the services of Paco, whom we now know as our interpreter. The question for you, Miss Chile, is the same for all. If you could ask God just one question, what would it be? Si tuvieran la oportunidad de preguntar a Dios una pregunta, ¿qué sería? One more time. ¿Por qué mando niños pobres al mundo y mando niños huérfanos? ¿Y qué podría hacer yo para ayudarle? Sobre todo los niños huérfanos. Why are, there, why are there poor children in the world? Why are there orphans in the world? And what can I do to help them? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Miss Chile and Miss India. The same. 
we are troubled by the same things in life. Next we have Miss Australia, Carrie Anita Lucas. Just one question, think for all. If you could ask God just one question, what would it be? To me, the most important thing that I'd ask was internally health. Um, would anyone be possible to have you no know, internal diseases, but it's not? Um, that was my question to God. But I know that it's not possible. I just wish it would be. Thank you. Thank you very much, Australia. Next we have Miss Thailand. Wararat Suwanarat. Miss Thailand, you have one opportunity to ask God one question. What would that question be? If I had to ask God one question, it would have to be something like, uh, why is it in this world that people are born unequal? Why some are born richer than others? Why some are born poorer than others? Why some are born better looking? Some are born poorer? I'd have to ask you, you made this wonderful earth that we're all living in, then why is it that we are as equal as we all should be? Thank you. Thank you very much. Why aren't we all as beautiful as Miss Thailand? <laughs> Next we have Miss Tahiti, also requiring an interpreter. Chiki, thank you very much. If you could ask God just one question, what would it be? Si tu pouvais demander une question au Dieu, quelle sera-t-elle? Une question seulement, sur n'importe quoi. Une question que je choisirais de poser, c'est pourquoi, pourquoi m'avoir choisi parmi ces cinq finalistes? I would ask him why he has chosen you to be one of the finalists, one of the five finalists. Oh. Would <laughs> <laughs> you like to add something? Because I think that when we have to represent a concours of beauty of Miss Pacific, of Miss Asia Pacific Sud, the representative must be able to speak English. Because I think if we are uh, here to represent somebody from Miss Asia Pacific, one should be able to speak English. But don't worry, please tell Miss uh, Tahiti that we understand her very well. Thank you very much, Miss Tahiti. Well, God, you've heard the questions, answer them in your own time. Thank you very much, ladies. Friends, we're almost at the end of our search who will finally win the crown and be proclaimed the most beautiful woman in this part of the world. The 1997 Miss Asia Pacific pageant is about to draw to a most exciting climax. You gotta be there when that happens. These ladies are pinching themselves more than once just to make sure that all this good fortune is actually happening. Of course, together with the honor and prestige of being crowned Miss Asia Pacific, they can look forward to the thrill of winning these fabulous prizes. A majestic array of prizes awaits the lucky lady who will wear the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific crown. Her outstanding beauty will be enhanced with a year's supply of cream silk, close-up, and ponds. Royal luxury awaits her at a deluxe suite at the Sulu Hotel. Magnify that winning look with beauty products from Avon Color, as well as intimate apparels from Avon Fashions. She'll dress up right for every occasion with stylish clothes from Woman's Specialty Store, as well as trendy leather goods from Alberto. Marcella will be decked the next queen with fashionable costume jewels and fine accessories. 
Her beauty will be immortalized in a portrait embossed in bronze by Filipino artist Jose Pepin Moreno. She'll enjoy three days and two nights of fun and relaxation at the exotic Pearl Farm. A dazzling ring and earring set done in carry cut blue sapphire with diamond brills set in 14 karat gold by Tristan's fine jewelry collection. She'll definitely make a fashion statement in Renee Salud's Karuna collection. To complete the regal ensemble, a fabulous crown and scepter designed by Ocampos Gemologists and Jewelers Inc., the symbol of her reign. Plus, Corsini plaques and trophies from Italian Concepts Industries Philippines. And $10,000 from Carousel Productions Incorporated. One title, one crown, one deserving lady. A grand salute to the new Miss Asia Pacific. Okay, friends, we shall be presenting our finalists individually now for the judges' final look. As each finalist steps forward, the judges will be considering their overall impression of each contestant throughout the competition this evening. Each judge will submit his or her final vote, after which we should be able to determine who is most worthy of the crown. For the final look, let's begin with Miss India. Give your wishes to bring honor to India on its 50th year of independence. At the rate she's going, she has already made her country proud. Miss Chile. Gabriela has worked as a professional model since she was 14. This experience is definitely paying off as she sets her eyes on the first Miss Asia Pacific crown for Chile. Miss Australia. The last time her country won was in 1980. Will Carey end the dry spell and be the fourth Miss Australia to win the crown. Miss Thailand. Wararat has traveled all over the world. Tonight will she be the third Miss Thailand to conquer the Asia Pacific region? And finally, Miss Tahiti. Nancy has worked as a dealer in a casino. Tonight, she has laid all her best cards to win the crown for Tahiti. We wish her the best of luck. Ladies and gentlemen at home and here in the audience, that completes our competition this evening. One of these five ladies will soon experience the glory and once in a lifetime thrill of being crowned Miss Asia Pacific. Christine? This pageant is presented to us by Pond Facial Wash, softer than soap for clean, radiant skin. We'll have a last look at our reigning queen when we return to the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific Grand Coronation Night. globe last year in the Central American country of Costa Rica and swept us all off our, off our feet with her arresting beauty and wonderful candor. She's back with us, or with us once more, fairer than ever, and with a heart that somehow has grown closer to us all. And if I may add, everyone in the production and the organization will attest to this. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back for her final walk to 1996 Miss Asia Pacific, Gabriela Aguilar. one of the most beautiful experiences and that is to represent my wonderful country Costa Rica in the Miss Asia Pacific beauty pageant. Winning the crown has given me great opportunity to live and share unforgettable moments with remarkable people of all walks of life. I thank God for giving me this chance to live a life full of joy and happiness. My family for their love and support my boyfriend for his unconditional love and patience, and to all the people behind Miss Asia Pacific and Carousel Productions for giving me all the season I needed 
to undergo the responsibilities of a beauty queen. Most of all, to the Filipino people, I thank you without end. Your warm welcome and friendship will always remain in my heart. As I crown the next Miss Asia Pacific, I wish you the best in your life. Remember that it is not your face, not your body that is important here. It is your heart and all the good things that you can do to others that comes most. As a queen, people will look up to you with honor. So show them your loving spirit. God bless you all. Congratulations, Gabby, for a most fruitful year as a 1996 Miss Asia Pacific. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Gabriela Aguilar is ready to relinquish her crown and title to our new Miss Asia Pacific, and that momentous event is up next when we return. This is it, Anthony. We have reached the most crucial point, the culmination of our coronation night, the announcement of winners. Here we call again Mr. Lito Montes of SGV and Company to please hand in that all-important envelope or envelopes. They're very difficult to open. Okay. And of course, before we announce the winners, ladies and gentlemen, I think we ought to give all of these ladies a big hand. Congratulations, ladies. We begin with our fourth runner-up, presenting the trophy, our former Mutianang Pilipinas World, Pichi Veneracion, and Herman Martinez, Assistant General Manager of Avon Philippines. And Anthony, our fourth runner-up is... Miss Chile, Gabriela De Keren. Congratulations, Miss Chile, our fourth runner-up. Now we go to the third runner-up. Presenting the third runner-up trophy, we have Butch Garcia, General Manager of Sulu Hotel, and Bambi Kema, Sales Director of Sulu Hotel. And the third runner-up for the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific is Miss hmm. Australia, Carrie Anita Lucas. Congratulations once again, Miss Australia, our third runner-up. Now, let's proceed. This is for our second runner-up, presenting the second runner-up trophy. We have Ramon Monson, President of Carousel Productions, and Lorraine Shook, Vice President of Carousel Productions. Second runner-up is Miss Tahiri Nancy. Admire. Congratulations, Mr. Hiki, our second runner up. <laughs> Whom we understand more than words. Just two more names remaining. We will announce our first runner up which means the remaining candidate will automatically be our 1997 Miss Asia Pacific. Good luck, ladies. We'd like you to approach. And let me remind you that the role of the first runner-up is extremely important because if for some reason our winner could not fulfill her responsibilities or continue being Miss Asia Pacific, our first runner-up shall take over. Presenting the trophy for first runner-up, we have Leandro Enriquez, President of MAPSI, 
together with Miss Margarita Moran, 1973 Miss Universe. And presenting the trophy for Miss Asia Pacific, we have Mr. Norberto Timbal representing Unilever Philippines, and the 1996 Miss Asia Pacific, Gabriela Aguilar. Okay, Christine, we have the result here. The first runner-up of the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific is Miss India Divya Chaihan. And the 1997 Miss Asia Pacific is Miss Thailand. Congratulations, Christine. to Wanara. Congratulations. Miss Thailand, the latest winner of the Asia Pacific Crown. That is Miss Gabriela Aguilar, the 1996 winner, turning over the responsibility and the reign to Miss Thailand. Miss Thailand, would you please take your victory walk to the tune of the Miss Asia Pacific theme as our new Miss Asia Pacific. Another dream comes true to a most deserving winner. We thank you for being here with us this magical evening. And once again, we would like to thank all of our candidates, sponsors, judges, guests, and special friends. Our heartfelt thanks to the city of Davao for a most unforgettable day. We love this city and we love you all. Congratulations for you, Miss Asia Pacific. Likewise, to the officers and staff of Mapki and Carousel Productions for another successful pageant. Congratulations to you, Christine. Thank you, Anthony. And to all of you out there, God bless you. And until the next Miss Asia Pacific, we bid you good night. <laughs>